Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a Aaron bringing you another video from SnowRunner. Uh, this video today, we are going to take the F-B83, also known as the Ford Bronco, um, hence the FB part, so Ford Bronco and the 83 is 1983 for the model year. Um, obviously not badged as a Bronco due to licensing issues or restrictions, um, but it looks exactly like one. So before we get out on our test drive, we'll go through some of the customizations. So engines, they're super simplified straightforward you've got factory upgraded and advanced um, for this test drive we selected advanced gearboxes standard highway off-road basic vanilla options suspension you've got standard and ultimate which isn't a crazy lift gives you a little bit of height tires um, they pretty much all have the same uh, wheel performances um, the all-terrains have excellent all the way through, the mud tires, uh, they do have a mix. Um, off-road and mud are both excellent, but the on-road, the mud tires switch between average and excellent. Um, and each tire has a different rim, um, which when you get to the appearances you cannot change rim so base your tire selection on the rims you want on the truck so I've gone with the Toyos kinda looks like a Ford Raptor wheel um, personal preference doesn't really matter like I said all the tires pretty much have excellent ratings for mud and off-road winches basic vanilla options again um, you do get an autonomous winch so, as a scout vehicle, it makes sense to go with that one. Diff lock. Uh, I don't know why they threw this in here. Um, you only have one option, which is the diff. Um, you cannot take it off. So, either way, that's how you get a diff lock on this machine. Uh, snorkel, you get a long snorkel, which you can see just runs up the passenger side and is facing backward. Or the short one, which is on the driver's side and forward facing frame add-ons, uh, you have the option of a roof rack. Uh, appearances, miscellaneous, um, thresholds, I don't know why they call it that, stupid name, um, but basically it's a running board and it looks not appealing whatsoever, so I did not select those. Also, you can get a visor, which, meh. I didn't put it on, but some might like to. Rear bumper, you get one option. The reinforced, which as you can see is the pipe, or just the stock metal chrome bumper. Uh, rooftop, you can add two different uh, types of fog lights. And front bumpers, you get the standard chrome metal bumper. Reinforced with some rectangular LED fog lights or reinforced uh, which is the same it's just a different one with a uh, full wrap around uh, frame and like I said the rims they're based on the tires you get one option for rims you can't select so if you want different rims pick different tires colors uh, your base color is some dark blue I believe and then they've got some two-tone paint jobs which didn't really appeal to me. It would have been nice if they had more of a Ford blue and white. Um, and then really dark looking overall, but uh, tons of metallic, so they're very shiny colors. And then decorations. You can't actually select anything, although it does listen to your exterior. There are no options available. So... With that all being said, let's take it out and see how it performs. And not at night time. So you guys can see what's going on.
Again, Black River, Michigan. That's where I like to do my test drives for you guys. It's nice, like I said, simple, yet uh, adventurous track. So, this thing does seem to be okay at higher speeds. It does get a little bit squirrely, but not as bad as some of the other short-based, short-wheel-based vehicles, um, such as the iX5 or, um, I think there's like some little Nissan pickup truck or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, this does have all-wheel drive engaged all the time, and diff lock you need to be in low gear to activate. And as you can see, we are just working our way through that mud without a problem. Uh, interior, I don't know how realistic it is, but they have done a very good job. green so it is authentic to the 1983 era where wood was all of the rage we're just gonna get into that view because it seems like we're just getting bounced straight out of the driver's seat try to take our highway truck the bolt through here and it did not get very far. Uh, we actually winched it and turned around and went the other way. And as you can see we're just making it through everything so far with just all wheel drive. We have not had to switch to low and lock the diffs. Performance-wise, um, with the advanced engine and the off-road gearbox, it uh, gets up and goes pretty decent, and we're obviously getting some decent speed out of it as well. Um, which for me, scouting is all about is not just adventuring, but scouting. Uh, I try to do as quickly as possible, so I don't want to be going slowly around the map. I want to get to where I'm going and get there quickly, while also not uh, crashing into a bunch of things like that. But uh, to be quick while also being in control of the vehicle, not fishtailing all around. Um, this is the second time I've drove this thing, so obviously practice makes perfect. And I just need a little more time driving it to really get it under control. Um, so it is a little bit squirrely, but I think with some practice you can probably drive it a lot straighter. Um, I think if you're looking at off-roading and trail riding um, with your friends, this would make an excellent trail crawling vehicle. Um, as you can see, it is making it through everything. We haven't taken any damage yet, and we've been getting bounced around quite a bit so far. So. Let's 
So let's lock this into low, see if that helps. Throw the diff lock on. Crawl through that with a diff lock and then throw back in auto. Still seems to be spinning a bit. I think we're just losing traction here, is the problem. But uh, regardless, um, as you can see, we're always moving forward, so it has yet to actually get stuck. It's just a little bit more slow going and swamp here. Just about out. Let's go through this last little hole here. And there we go. see the ultimate suspension is quite forgiving. So it may bounce a lot, but no damage and you just right over top of stuff. Like that tree. Make it right here. This will take us to the I guess it depends on what we have the map orientated. Orientated. But uh, I will refer to this as the northeast corner of the map. Um, so this goes up by, I believe it's the power plant, which I think the power plant is to your right again. But if you take a left here, this will take us to the river for our river crossing challenge of the test circuit. I guess we can call that our tip test. Got her up on two wheels, but it did not flip over. We did take a little damage, obviously. Nobody can go head on with a rock and get out of that unscathed. As you can see, we're just driving over these rocks full of speed and no damage taken. Just need a kidney belt to keep all your guts in place. damage there. That's not bad considering a lot of trucks would have taken a lot worse of a hit. Watch out for that telephone pole. That's where we uh, ran the P512 up on the guard rail. That took some damage. You know, it's amazing how strong they made these guardrails. Like, it doesn't even take a dent, yet it does 50 suspension damage. Oh, those wooden signs too, Jesus. Okay, let's uh, check out what we got for repair points here. Looks like 350 points on the roof rack. So we'll use those up and prepare us back to 
and it also gives you two spare tires and refuel again the roof rack gives you 80 liters extra and the Bronco has a 121 liter tank so not quite a complete full spare of fuel but definitely enough that uh, you should be able to make it to wherever you're going as this thing is uh, on the lower scale cost of fuel efficiency so I think it had two points I believe for the fuel economy so really good on fuel uh, as you can see by our fuel counter there even stuck in mud were under 10 liters a minute and we're just spinning so we're gonna gear it down lock our diffs and see how well we do getting across this river Again, slow going, but uh, going nonetheless. Slowly making it across the river. I remember crossing this uh, with the Chevy 1500, and I don't believe it made it all that easily. We I had to use the winch to do it. Um, it was slow going across as well, and at that time, I don't remember if I was level 30 yet or not, but I do remember that I had the big mud tires, the lift kit, the snorkel, the whole works, um, every single upgrade for the Chevy 1500, and like I said, I had to winch to get across. And we just made it in the Bronco without winching not one time. So. Ooh. Bronco. Definitely is the right name for this thing because it is wild. It might be uh, easier to control if I was to downgrade the engine. Um, I didn't check before we left the garage there what the power was. Um, I do believe it was at least into the A class. So it does have plenty of power. Could have dropped down one engine to the upgraded instead of the advanced. But to show a maximum display of power, we went with the top engine just to. Uh, see that it does have power to get going and that it is quick um, obviously you need to set up for its purpose so if you want a little more control or you're rock crawling um, obviously you would go with the off-road gearbox however go with maybe a less powerful engine or uh, gear down gearing down obviously would give you more control you can gear down diff lock off and that will bring your vehicle speed down and obviously give you more control and with the diff lock off you could be driving on solid ground at a slower pace for control without uh, damaging the gearbox. Overall, uh, so far, definitely a fun vehicle to drive, um, even with it uh, swinging its back end side to side, definitely makes for a interesting 
challenge of a vehicle to drive. Oh. It's way off the beaten path there. We're just gonna run this over if we can. Yep, straight up and over there we go. Let me just stop for a second here. Turn the turn the lights back on. There we go, now we can see the road and see our Bronco again. See, it does travel in a fairly straight line. Uh, it's once you start turning, it does get a little squirrely. Um, these tires in particular do have an excellent uh, performance rating for on-road, so they do grip quite well. Turn there. Um, in future videos, I might actually change up the route I take. Obviously, taking this paved road is ouch, painful for starters because it's a barrier, but uh, also a little bit too easy. Um, Driving a paved road serves no challenge, um, so we might change our route to go drive over by the lumber mill across the bridge and then take the back road to the garage, which comes out uh, just where the road splits to go up and around the long way, or obviously closer, the other road splits into towards the middle of the map, which also leads to that bridge crossing. If I was to start a new file, I would probably select this as one of my scout vehicles. Um, as you can see, it's quite capable. I would imagine that uh, starting a new file, there would be restrictions as to which tires you could have due to your uh, player level. Like, level 1, you were only allowed to have highway tires level to, or, uh, was it level 3, I believe, you were caught all-terrain tires, and then level 7, I believe, was mud terrains, so, obviously, if you were to start over using mods, you'd be restricted to certain things, and, uh, uh as to not make the game too easy right off the bat. So there we have it, uh, the FB83 and it made it around the whole track without winching one time. So capable vehicle. Um, it looks good. 
I mean, some of the colors could be a bit better, but overall it's pretty nice. Uh, I quickly went through the wheels with you guys, so good wheel options, you know, a couple of bumpers, uh, roof racks, so it's got some repair points and fuel points. Great Scout overall. And if we were to figure out what that cost us um, to sell it, we would get just under 42000 So not a very costly uh, truck at all. I believe that 41150 would include all our bumpers and tires that we put on it as well. So. Um, there is a, uh, what do you call it, Desert Racing Bronco, uh, which is more of a body on tube frame. Um, so we will be doing a comparison video to see how that one stacks up against our FB83. And... I'm looking forward to getting that video done for you guys. So, uh, usually we're releasing one every Saturday. Um, obviously, schedule depending on if we get too busy, what happens. But the Race Bronco video test drive is coming. So, Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.